What's up guys, it is Tony here and today I'm doing a quick um, tutorial on how to edit basically and uh, today we're going to be talking about um, boom sound effects, basically emphasizing a shot in Call of Duty uh, montages or pretty much any montage at that point point. Um, and basically it's just this really cool sound effect that you can add to a shot and just make it sound amazing. If you want to know what it sounds like, um, I'm actually going to have a video, well, a link to a video, probably in the annotations somewhere up here, somewhere over here, um, that brings you to a video showing the actual uh, sound effect in the clip we are going to edit today. So um, basically, you want to start off by getting a clip. Now, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because I actually had problems with this too, uh, based on the tutorials that I saw on YouTube. It was very difficult to understand what they were trying to tell me to do. So I decided I wanted to make a tutorial to maybe help out people. So what you want to do is you want to find the clip you want, and you're going to want to basically skim across and figure out which one, uh, selection you want. Then you're going to want to add it to your timeline, and how you do that is you just click um, the Add button, or if you're on a, a different program, you basically have to figure out how you do it on that program. I'm not sure. I'm using Final Cut here. Um, don't know why this is happening. Okay, then. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to basically um, look at the clip. Now, if you look and you, you, know, you have the music skimming on the bottom, uh, most people have that. You can actually turn that on in iMovie and uh, Windows Movie Maker and stuff. And Sony Vegas, it's obviously on already. Uh, you want to look basically for the peak where the shot is. And that's actually right here if you look at it. Now, what you want to do there is you want to find out exactly where the muzzle flash happens, which is basically when your gun, um, you can see the bullet coming out of your gun. If you look up at the uh, preview box in the top, you can see that the muzzle flash is happening. That's where you want to cut the clip. Now I'm going to use the blade tool here for final cut so I can get the um, cut here. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to um, figure out, you can also mark it if you want, but I'm going to do an edit to this part. It's going to let you figure out exactly where you're going to put that boom sound effect. Now um, this is something that I added for extra effect. Um, you know, you might want to add some video effects. Now um, only certain editors have this. Final Cut has this, other editors have this too. Um, a big thing I like to add is this earthquake effect. Add that on, or you can add you know, a heat wave or something very simple if you're on some other program. And what this basically does is the minute that shot hits, it basically starts like this earthquake effect. And you're not gonna be able to see this because it lags a bit, um, which is why I'm gonna put this finished clip in the description when I'm done. Um, so basically, once you have that, you want to start adding in the sound effects. Now, you're going to need two sound effects for this. I'm going to, I'm going to put them up on uh, Z Share or B3 shooting. Um, this is COD 4 wise. Now, if, you, if you're using um, you know, Modern Warfare 2, you're making a Modern Warfare 2 montage, or if you're making a um, Black Ops montage, it's going to be a little bit more, I guess, difficult for you because you're going to have to find an intervention shooting or an LN96 shooting or whatever you, whatever you have. So that's pretty much that. Um, then you're going to add the M40A3 shot, and you're going to want to sync it up. So the best way to sync it up is you want to have the peak exactly where your cut or your mark was, and that should work. Let me watch it. Uh, I'm lagging a bit because I'm recording. I think that's about right. Then what you want to do is you want to get the um, explosion dole, which is uh, basically the explosion. Now, the big problem a lot of people had, and the uh, editors didn't really, or the tutorial makers didn't really explain, is that the explosion itself is going to be very, very dull. I mean, it's the name of the clip. Um, and the way you make it louder is actually interesting. Uh, first off, on any editor, um, you're basically just going to boost the volume as much as you can. So up here, I'm boosting the volume. Uh, also, if you have the chance to do audio enhancements, if there's anything involving audio enhancements, look for something that says bass boost or bass and make it you know as high as basically you can because you want to have a lot of bass in it. Now you'd think that's pretty much it, but it really isn't. Um, those are the most minor things. The only thing that does is just add a bit more of an effect to it. Um, what you want to do is you want to go into um, the options where you can slow it down, and you want to slow it down to about 85% the whole way through. So I'm going to do that right now. A little more complicated on Final Cut because you got to use a speed ramp. So 85% is about good. And what you want to do is you want to come back this way and just um, don't let the uh, whole sound effect be there. So you want to cut it a little bit back to where the effect actually happens. 
So that's about right right there. And once you do that, you can basically export it or you can um, keep doing that to your entire project and it'll turn out pretty good. I'm going to put this exact file, I'm going to export it and I'm going to put it um, up on the description on basically a link to a YouTube uh, video. So you guys can go and check it out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below and I'll see you guys next time.